conflict for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In approval of the minutes from the April 3rd regular session.
uh, January of uh, 2009 to do that commercial operation. At some point in time, I transition out of those projects and uh, and move on to whatever the next event is. And as with that, and that is always bittersweet. It's uh, I feel I own these projects and uh, I, I uh, raise them to fly away. And with that, I would like to introduce uh, 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 Richard Hyde. Richard Hyde is the managing director of AGL uh, Resources Government Affairs. And Richard will be your principal uh, contact and, uh, and filling in my role as I transition out. I, I've known uh, Richard tangentially with other projects, and you are in good hands. Richard? Good morning. I'm the chairman of the Rush. My name is Richard Hyde, and I had the uh, dubious honor of appointing Paul with the chief of Challenging the world to work this standard, so we will do our best and look forward to working with each and every one of you as we move forward on our, on our project. So, thank you very much for everything that's done, and again, look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, a couple of updates here. I got a notification from Calcium on the Highway Patrol 20 project. They actually already started marking this week. Uh, so construction should start sometime next week. I mean, it's going to involve uh, one-way traffic control a good portion of the summer. Uh, we have a planning and safety meeting at my office, so I invite anyone who would like to come. It's uh, next Tuesday at 10 a.m. in my office if you want further information. I'll bring back whatever information I get as the next board supervisor to you, though. Uh, some other things, uh, starting for rodeo, we were able to identify uh, some uh, specific grant funds for the full contingency out here this year for the entire event. And we're moving forward with the uh, fair projects. Again, we're able to identify personnel, and this year we'll have full contingency plus a mountain control and bike control. Increase in the number of uh, 
consumers coming in for services are after hours um, for the first nine months of the year and 55 evaluations. And March 1st uh, was the first time that the department's ever had five um, commitments in one normal work day. So the need for the department to increase is substantial. And I will be coming back to the board in the next regular session for more additional personnel. Um, and the other thing that will be coming up in the next board agenda has to do with um, doing child health call psychiatry and a contract for Kings View um, that will be on the next board agenda. And that will allow us to move children to the call psychiatry and allow Dr. Julia more time for adults. We are struggling in order to maintain. Um, currently, we have a lot of really good staff doing really good work. So, and the other thing is that we did successfully complete our certification for alcohol and drug that was done um, in the middle of this last month. Thank you. Any other staff we should not be for it? Seeing none, Mr. Podium will take the 910 item of personnel. Yes, services. Consider filling the vacancy of one flexibly staff eligibility worker effective May 1, 2012, and fill the licensing the merit system hiring. Um, a vacancy occurred in one of our come forward and ask or indicated at least that they may want to make this a full-time employment situation uh, rather than extra help. Steve? Thank you. 
conflict of the kidneys of the inside. <coughs>
places in their shop as well as the fire district. So I would like to propose that we get all the entities together with Mark and myself and uh, go through a process. Okay. Soon. Okay. Because I have, I've got a proposal that is real short and sweet and simple, I think. But, you know, sitting with Peggy trying to figure out uh, the percent of this increase and that increase and what percentage happens between here and there could be a little problematic long term in Mrs. Gary's opinion. Okay. So I like to be a little simpler than that. Is this uh, something that's going to come up probably at the next meeting? That could be a lot no. Of I have a question, Mr. Chairman. We need to appoint um, Supervisor Evans and Supervisor Marshall to serve as the committee to work on this um, so that they can start doing it over the next week or so and can we do it? Yes, you may. We could create today if you wish an ad hoc committee of no more than two supervisors plus in the county staff to have a hand in the process. Just to keep it moving <coughs> okay. so that they can meet. So you don't have to continue to come up to the full board so that the two supervisors are authorized to meet. <coughs> and we can keep this moving. So we could uh, we could talk directly to the committee? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So the so the in, committee in the room. In the room, yeah. No, no. You you folks and the two board members and probably county council and um um, so that and you can start working on it on a daily basis, not waiting for every Tuesday to work on it. And, and I would, I would uh, want somebody from the sheriff's office there. Thank you. Uh, just, I think it can be done very swiftly. Okay. But, you know, we need everybody in one room. But then this, this is something that's going to happen between now and this meeting? I hope so. Okay. And as, as soon as we can pull all the, the resources together on our end, we'll give you guys a day and, and do it. Okay. Is there a motion, Supervisor, to create this committee? Yeah. I'll move that we create the ad hoc committee. I'm just going to call it the 172 ad hoc committee. Um, and to include two members of the board, Supervisor Marshall, Supervisor Evans, the County Council, and the auditor. Move by the second time for any other discussion. Any uh, sheriff, DA, probation, fire district, auditor. Um, we will coordinate the individuals off those departments. So, okay. And, and as soon as I get those caps heard up, we'll get a hold of you and or uh, who, who 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 do you want to be pointed? One person that you we'll, want. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get that. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll look next. Okay. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Motion in the second. Yes. Any more discussion? Okay. Roll call. Thank you, sir. Supervisor Murray. Aye. Hart. Aye. Dan. Aye. Marshall. Aye. 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 Thank you all. You've got a hard work, folks. Sheriff, uh, consider approving a request for proposal for inmate food services at the 
County Jail and authorized the chairman to sign. Further set May 10 at 3 p.m. to receive and open sealed bids and direct the work to publish and post the RFP. Good morning, Board of County Delegates and Old Sheriff's Department, Madam uh, Chair. Um, I've been before the board uh, two previous occasions uh, in uh, regards to uh, food services, uh, all about, uh, at the direction of the Last time we met, uh, we did have a meeting with our current uh, vendor for uh, food services and trying to uh, uh, mitigate some of the uh, issues that I had brought up to your attention. And I met with uh, Supervisor Van, uh, the CEO, CFO, uh, and continue to uh, uh, have meetings with uh, food managers hospital uh, and I regret to inform you that it is still my opinion that we should move forward with the food service RFP uh, due to many inconsistencies uh, that um, I see from our credit provider. The pleasure of the board. It's great. Thank you. And you, you've had meetings with the uh, Hospital administration, and you know, I've met with them as well, trying to make them aware of some of the issues we have, and they've not resolved this. That's my understanding. That is correct. They have so not resolved. I have a board meeting tomorrow morning with the hospital. So. And um, I personally uh, made a phone call to the third day, and I didn't know the agenda item from this. Ours are upgraded. 
quite a bit more. We're going, we went through the sheriff's department to contract through um, Dell, so. I would, look, I would go check with staff and services. All the guys in there. Okay. Is this a state based contract you're working off of? No, this is asset forfeiture contract. But the, as far as the contract through the sheriff's department, I don't know. That's a Dell contract that we have. But I know these computers are upgraded quite a bit to the point where. I didn't see a whole lot that was really upgraded. So between the two, so I would suggest you. Well, check I have the this. I have a different. Copies if you like going with that. Yeah. Well, I think there's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're looking at the DA and we're looking at yours. That's what you're saying. The system's pretty much the same. So that's that's just, I think you ought to look at several services as well and find where you can get the best deal. That's all. Okay. And you have money in that for the Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. All right, so much. The binder is that my partner in the other discussion. Is there a caveat that they check with central services for the proof? Yeah. The motion is to approve the purchase of two laptops, but it's fresh. Okay. It's going to be great. At least that's based on there. Roll call. Supervisors and jury? Aye.
discussions with the vendors. Answer several questions. However, there's one I can't answer. That's what we're coming here for the minute. He's associated with this project. So I stand here today hoping to have an answer for that. County for a minute or city for a minute? It's a county for a minute. As I understand, it's a city for a minute. Shall we be asking the city to waive their communication as well? I will. Like, there's a lot that can happen, but I understand the sidewalk is city. So through discussions with vendors, there's different options that they may take. It may include some sidewalk reconstruction, so the city may come apart. Library consider approving performer agreement between the 
County Inclusive Library in Dale Lorzo for a one-time magical performance at the joint kickoff event of the Children's Summer Reading Program and Teen Summer Reading Program on June 21st with terms and conditions set forth in the agreement and authorized the chair to sign. And we have one librarian. Um, has plenty of time here. We will continue this item. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's kick off item D as well. So when people make the adjustments, they're not even recognizing. I mean, the details are so 
far behind the actual plan that we're going to be put in a situation where we're possibly going to be taking people's property rights by not approving development applications so we could be under a regulatory taking situation. But if we approve them in the same breath, we get sued by the environmentalists for violating um, some of the provisions in the original law. So the state is really putting us in a situation where we can do nothing at all. And any time we move, we're going to be sued. So we're, you know, these benefits are extremely important because we've got to address some of these because the date to have these implemented is 20, is 21st, 2014. 20th. 20th. 20th for comments for the Central Life Health Protection. So what you're talking about has more to do with land use uh, issues and how it's going to be implemented on the ground in the various counties. Well, that was my problem in several constituents that either and this is just an outline of this plan, which is here's the plan so we can get it voted on and then to the legislature, you know, mandated this, but we'll give you the details later, kind of somewhat like the feds. So the constituents were asking, well, what, well, what's the details of it? Again, are the central values that the board's going to vote on A, B, or C? What proposal? Yeah. And they said, answer that. They can't. Now, they don't. They can't. The state can't answer it. <laughs> So we're at the, at the mercy of the lobbyists that write the law after they go on the I'd say the regulators. Yeah. The regulators. Yeah. It's the regulators who are interpreting it's, it in their own bed. It's crazy. It's, 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 so it's huge issues. We've been working with Southern County and surrounding counties and reclamation districts. Sharing comments. Well, these are one board member of current board.
So this first contract is for this the current fiscal year that we're in, and that fifteen hundred dollars was authorized to pay for uh, the bus driver's time, his, his salary. Okay. So, a little by degree, second by far, in the discussion. Roll call. Supervisor Jim Gray? Aye. Carter? Aye. Dan? Aye. Marshall? Aye. Aye. That's all. Thank you. 9.50 item. Public Works consider finding a reasonable relationship between the development impact piece collected in conjunction with residential development in the Arbuckle area and the Wildwood Road Rehabilitation Project. Further designate the development impact fees collected in fund 02697 and fund 02701 from residential development in the Arbuckle area to the Wildwood Road Rehabilitation Project. Morning, Good morning. Uh, this request would provide funding to construct a heated building for on Wildwood Road. Uh, development impact fees substantially. Um, are from one area in Arbuckle. And so the amount of projects we would have to build that 